to create a histogram of continuous data, you need to establish the lower and upper limit of the bins. In this particular example, we have a count of 400 with a minimum of 4.6 and a max of 4.9. The range is just the difference between those two, E6 minus E5. In this assignment, we were told to have eight bins, and we wanted the bin width rounded up to the nearest one hundredth. So if we take the range and divide it by the number of bins, we get the bin width, and then we need to use the rounding function. Here I use the round up, because you always want to round up when you're finding bin limits. And I set it to round that value to two decimal places, which would give me one hundredths. To start, we want to be able to set the lower limit on the lowest bin so that it captures all the data. And the best way to do that is just to make it equal to the minimum value. And then we can establish the lower limits on the other bins by clicking in that cell, equal the limit there, plus the rounded bin width, and we're going to lock that using the F4 key. And now I can drag this down to get my bins, the lower limits. And notice that I have a catch-all bin labeled over here on the end. The upper limits need to be different a little bit from the next bin's lower limit because you want data to go into one bin or the other and if it was exactly equal then of course the data could be in two places. So what I like to do is to equal that next bin's lower limit and then subtract a small number. Here I'm going to click minus and since our data only has two decimal places I'm just going to put a small number there, 0 0.00001. And that gives me the upper limit for my first. And now I can just drag that down to get all of these. And of course, this last one doesn't make any sense. So those are my upper limits. And now I can use those upper limits with any of the Excel tools to create the histogram.